believe this is Praxis, and if you hold on a moment, we just have to put a board up. We did this once before, and it went pretty smoothly, so it has to go smoothly this time, right? Let me get it closer to you. Okay, okay you can. This is the center beam of the house. We did one of these before with the last homestead. You got it? That's good. All right. We did one of these before with the last homestead and we built it on the back of the wall up here. And it was built out of four layers of two by 10 pressure treated wood. And pressure treated wood, I mean, as heavy as lumber is, pressure treated wood is even heavier because it's just impregnated with a lot of extra stuff, extra weight. So we built it on the back, we put stilts on it, and we kind of walked it over. That was really awkward. It felt really dangerous the whole time. This time we decided we were going to build this center beam here, this vertical, you see? Uh, center, uh, and that was going to kind of hold the two of them, uh, the two pieces that went up. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to sort of lay on the layers while it's up there. Uh, so far, so good. This is the first layer. The next layer is going to uh, start. These are 16-foot boards. We're going to start with 8 feet down over here, and then another 16 feet, and then another eight, and the, it's a total span of about 32 feet. It's a little bit more. Uh, and uh, the reason for that is you don't want the joints to be over overlapping, so you want to have uh, uh, you know, contiguous board going over the, the seams and the other boards. So first one's up. We get a few more to do. It's been a long day. You can see behind you, we've got the whole south wall. All the posts between all the windows are all up. Things are finally starting to feel like a kind of an interior space here. But it's been a long, hot day. I appreciate my dad for being here. Rivers voluntarily wanted to be here all day. He's been having a good time. Uh, and I'm hoping within the next hour, we can finish this thing up because if we can get this beam finished in the middle, I can do all of the, uh, the floor joists without necessarily having a second person here. And that would be really awesome. This, this kind of job, it's, it'd be really difficult to do this alone. So that's it, an hour. Gotta try to get this done, so I should probably stop making videos. That's it. Thanks for watching.